arrived at HGSE having traveled many different roads from several continents and from many states. Your journeys took you on the road to learning traditional sports, sustaining the rainforest and hiking in new places, training for your first road race, expanding your multilingualism and relearning French among your many languages, developing proficiency in Arabic, learning in many universities internationally, teaching in under-resourced schools, and supporting students in rural schools. Escorting a first daughter on a college tour, gaining expertise in a wide range of topics, better known as trivia. T student teaching abroad, beginning a technological journey, learning and teaching in a new language, and learning American Sign Language finger spelling. Your journey took you on the road to dancing, performing and hosting on the stage, delving into poetry and short stories, performing at Carnegie Hall, and finding new spices in traditional markets, writing satire and humor, visiting gender bending museum exhibits and dress designing and seeing it come to life and finding beauty in wildflowers connecting with friends on the West Coast, exploring aspects of your dual citizenship, unexpectedly adding to the family tree, spending lake time with family, being a teacher, bartender, and bike tour guide, making memories teaching multilingual learners and moving beyond detention. Your journey took you on the road to committing to urban communities, living around the globe, finding new ways to nurture yourself and others, solving problems and brainstorming new strategies collectively. Having traveled these roads, we met at the crossroads of Appian Way, and we began our language and literacy journey together by sharing reading and writing, discovering so many ways we were similar across our differences. You spent time in classes, in the library, and in the cafe. You prepared for classes in the JCRL, knowing there you would find good advice, laughter, and food, especially homemade chocolate chip cookies. Throughout this year, you have followed your individual paths of exploration, learning about literacy, about yourselves, and about each other. You have been generous and kind, sharing your resources, your ideas, and your honest opinions. You persisted and prevailed in spite of the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. You were meant for this time. Now we come together as our language and literacy community to celebrate your accomplishments and to send you on new journeys away from Appian Way. You are grounded in the commitment to serving children as literacy leaders who will create even stronger communities of practice, research, and policy. As you embark on this next journey, ask yourself why. Why is this road important to you? Why is it important to your community? Why is your contribution important? The language and literacy faculty wishes all the best to you and expects the very best from you. The Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Language and Literacy Program, Eliza Harris. Margaret Happy Adams. Isabel Anderson. Shino Bay. Juhi Beck. David Timothy Bates. Nora Berner, 
Nikitha Lynn Brown. Lauren Patrice Cardenas. Christina Correa. Olivia Draper. Haley Duggan. Sarah Garfinkel. Madeline Regina Geis. Miranda Hansen. Kunle Ho. Lauren Grace Hennenfent. Eliana Diaz Hughes. Abigail Klein. Jahi Lin. Chrissy Maine. Linda Martucci. Jocelyn Mason. Ziwen May. Kindred Mayrose Obas. Muriel Alexandra Pollock. Luke Potter. Veronica May Toro. Jizi Wang. Aria Dakota Willis. Zian Wu. Dunya Jadero. Anru Zhang. Shumeng Zhao. And the marshal for the language and literacy program, Emily Allen. Congratulations to you, the language and literacy class of 2020, promoters of the RAND model and connoisseurs of chocolate chip cookies. We wish you well. Join me in congratulating the class of 2020 language and literacy program.